Look at the charms. I personally like to go with the Shaman Stone, the Soul Catcher, Mark of Pride, and Quick Slash, or a lot of times I will switch this out for Unbreakable Strength just because it allows us to do 50% more damage, which is super helpful. At this point in the game, you probably don't have all the notches, and you probably don't have Unbreakable Strength, and you probably don't have a Pure Nail, so if I had to switch this up a little bit, I like to go with a Nail build when I was first going through this, and I would go Long Nail, Quick Slash. Nail Master's Glory allows you to charge up your nail, so in that way you can one-shot Primal Aspids, and then something a little bit more defensively, either Thorns of Agony and or the Spore Shroom to keep enemies at bay away from me. Alright, there's our charm set up, and now it's time to go jump in. Alright, so here's the Trial of the Conqueror. And again, it costs 450 Geo the first time you start this, and what's really nice is that once you complete the Trial of the Conqueror for the first time, you're going to get rewarded with Pale Ore and 1800 Geo, as well as a Conqueror achievement. I like to have my Great Slash all geared up for whatever enemy comes through. Try to stay healed up as best as you can. As I take damage, of course. Remember, you could always leave one enemy alive and then kite them around to heal. There we go, so watch out for the spikes. Yeah, don't do that. Get your Great Slash, and you'll take out these guys in one hit. Look at that. Both of them. One shot. Nice and easy. So that's why you may want the Nail Master's Glory. Get rid of those Primal Aspids. Look at that. Get the guys who are above me. Messing up all these fools. What's nice about the Great Slash is it also has just such a long range that it just makes life really easy. There we go, so now we're going to come back to center. You do have a chance to heal at this point if you want to. You can just push that guy off into the spikes. If you want to, you can just jump off to the sides and you wait for those to explode. That's one way to do it. You don't have to do it that way, though. These guys are kind of annoying just because they come out fairly quickly and they do take quite a few hits, especially when you don't have the unbreakable strength. Um, but just, just keep hitting them, knock them back. And this guy's super annoying. Just do one hit and then turn and, and hit him again. One hit, turn. One hit, turn. Just like that, over and over again. Especially when you're in a tight little area like this, it does help a lot if you're doing this once you have the Shade Cloak. And if you don't have the Shade Cloak yet, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below. Now watch out, this guy's a fake. So go ahead and heal before you open this up. There you go. And the crowd goes wild! And you can also use your spells. I don't know why, but I always forget to use my spells, especially in places like this. Alright, get that great slash ready. There we go. With this guy, you can pogo him, but just watch out because he will jump. And these guys, it's easy if you just stay on top of them. And so here, you have no floor. So this is where you really, really want to use that Great Slash. Just have it ready.
And also note that you can also down strike and then jump. Down strike, jump. Down strike, jump. So you have pretty much unlimited jumps. As long as you just stay cool, you're calm, you're collected, you'll be just fine through there. go. Great slash for the win. These guys are just kind of annoying. You just got to really stay away from their, uh, their 45 degree angle, but it's a really easy place to be able to heal. They can't really do anything if you're at the side of them or directly below them. You can either use your attacks like normal or you can use an abyss shriek um, you can also down hit these guys until they get into the spikes because that'll kill them instantly just like that and always always remember to heal you got plenty of time with these guys Again, try to stay directly below them because that's the safest spot. Just like that. There we go. Shade Cloak saving me right there. Get the Great Slash up. And with these guys, you pretty much two, three, four, five. You want to do even amount of damage between the two of them. One, two, three, four, five. And then if you need the heal, just get far away and then just heal while they're not shooting. So right now I have equal damage done to both of them. And might as well heal once more, even though I'm gonna lose it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now I gotta do this one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. And just like that, we completed the Trial of the Conqueror, and we're going to be rewarded with about 2,000 Geo, just because this isn't my first rodeo. Um, if this is your first time, you'll get 1,800 Geo, and you'll get that very, very precious Pale Ore. If you need help with completing the next trial, which is the Trial of the Fool, be sure to click on the video on the left-hand side. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more soon.